Hello everyone, I'm Saeed. In this video, we are going to talk about managing migrations and how we can remove migrations that is already applied to our database. You remember in the previous video, we were adding migrations for the uh, block tables. So this block uh, has two properties, ID and name, and now during, think about it like this, maybe in your project during time, you need more features, more properties to your um, tables. Here, for example, I'm going to add this new property called description. Okay, let's add uh, new migrations here. As we learned before, we can say uh, add migration and then put a name. For example, add description. Okay, uh, let's run this one. Okay, so it will add a uh, migration for us, adding new column in the uh, blocks table, description, call description, and then type is in record max. And also in the down uh, is going to be used for dropping columns as a rollback. Okay, uh, please, uh, if you didn't watch the first video, go for it, watch it and then come back here. It's way better than uh, for learning the how to uh, create the migrations. Here we need to, for example, there is two uh, actually, let, let's uh, talk about this situation. There is two uh, situation here. First, you create a migration, but you didn't apply that migration to your database yet. So the migration is still in your applications only. Like this uh, one, I created this um, migration. Here I can see the migration file at description, but in my database here, if I uh, run the migration history, I have only in it the first one. Yep. So I didn't apply. For removing this one, as uh, the entity framework suggests, you can only use the uh, remove migration. It will remove the last uh, migration, the last created migration. Okay, so simply by running this one, we can remove the migration. Okay, now if you go here, there is no add uh, description uh, migration false is already reverted okay but what happened if you already apply those uh, migrations against your database honestly this is a very very uh, bad situation for the project because you need to revert all the uh, changes maybe there is some data on those columns or those tables <clears throat> you need to be very careful about this rolling back or removing migrations. Okay, let's again add the migrations. Another point that uh, I wanted to mention here, please always before applying the migrations, check the code, check the generated migrations. Okay, EF core is very good but sometimes is uh, not intelligence enough. You know, uh, it will create some weird queries or some uh, mistakes. So please first check the generated migration and everything is looks good. And then uh, you can apply these changes to your database, okay? Now I want to update the database. It means 
uh, I want to add a description property here to my uh, blocks table. Okay, it's run. Let me refresh the table here, columns, and yeah, this is the description uh, new column. And also here in the EF uh, migrations history, you can see there is new uh, records here that is add description. Now this is a this, uh, critical point in our project because for any reason, someone said, okay, we don't need the uh, migrations anymore, the description anymore. Okay, there is two choice. For example, here you can uh, remove the description properties. For example, by, I don't know, just remove it. And then create another migrations so another migration says, okay, I want to drop the column and then uh, you can say like rolling back to the uh, previous state, but it's not that easy in the real world uh, projects. Sometimes you need to remove multiple migrations or ro roll back to I don't know, the last migrations in the last month. What we can do here, so first, our migrations are already applied. So we have them in the entity framework, uh, the EF migrations history, okay? First, we need to apply the last good migrations. For example, in this case, okay, we have only two migrations init and the add description okay what is the last good migrations good migrations means okay what we want to rolling back to that state okay so here uh, we want to skip the add description and also uh, we want to back to the init everything that we had here we want to rolling back to this state okay so there is a way to add update database we need to pass the name of that uh, migration in our case is init okay by this way entity framework will clean up our database to this state it means we'll remove all of those migrations, created migrations after this state. And then, then also we'll apply all of these down methods. So if you remember, we said down methods rolling back. For example, here in the up method, it will add a column and here it will drop that column okay so let's uh, run this command here okay let's check it's removed to the init state and also if i refresh this table the description property description column has removed Okay, nice. But we can see that still we have this migration here. Now, this is in our application side. Our database is already low, rolled back to the good migration or good state. Okay, so just we need to run this uh, remove migration, which is okay reverting a snapshot one thing that i wanted to talk about the app db context model snapshot file during the time maybe we have a lot of migrations files here 
but we always have one snapshot for all of our entities for all of our uh, configurations related to our entities or created tables so this is uh, the snapshot is the best name for this file so you need to be careful about it if you for example for example if you uh, created this uh, add or let me say like test If you create a new migration and by mistake, for example, you are going to uh, delete this file test. Okay, it will be deleted by this snapshot. Uh, this snapshot file will be corrupted because here, if you check the code, there is a properties called description so here in this test uh, migration we can see that there is a descriptions for creating description property and also we have it here because it will keep all of these changes the latest changes uh, for your models so the best way for never delete manually never delete manually your migrations files because it will be corrupted and it's honestly it's very very difficult to uh, rolling back this file okay if you are using git it's somehow uh, you can uh, rolling back or uh, referring to the previous version of this file but it's very uh, difficult so only if you want to remove the migrations just use this uh, things here. Remove migration command. Okay. So uh, we were using this uh, package manager console. Let's uh, do these uh, steps with the uh, uh, EF command line. Uh, already we know what we are going to do, but just let's do it quickly. Okay. So if I run this, uh query ef migrations add uh, description okay created here it's the generated uh, migration and let's uh, update our database dot net ef dot database update okay it's done let's just quick check yeah here and our table has another property new one description fine we need to follow same steps uh, for rolling back the good state so here in database update we need to pass our last uh, migrations that we want to back to it so here we have init uh, migration. So we just pass the name. Let's run this one. Okay. Yeah, let's remove. And here if I... Okay, fine. So we already cleaned up, but still in the application side we need to remove this file as i said for sure we need to use this uh, remove migrations don't use the manual delete for the file because of this snapshot model okay so let me uh, run the project and ef migration remove will uh, remove the uh, last one you can put the name as well here okay and now it's removed okay fine that's it for the uh, removing and rolling back the uh, migrations in the entity framework core thank you very much for your uh, time and uh, maybe i create another uh, video 
for having the best practices about the migrations. Thank you very much.